What we're witnessing here is the Obama administration giving up on Congress because they just lost Congress, and they're going to do as much as they can via executive branch regulatory fiat. And it begins December 21st at the Federal Communications Commission with this pending vote. Uh, there is zero authority for Chairman Julius Janikowski to do what he's about to do. There is been no rewrite of the communications law, which he himself has said doesn't address internet and broadband. There has been no action by Congress, short of that brief waxman respite, which went nowhere. Nothing has changed since April, when the D.C. Circuit Court ruled unanimously that the FCC doesn't have authority under Title I to act on internet and broadband, which is why the whole brouhaha about reclassification started was in response to that court decision. They, they had to find another way around to, to impose net neutrality and, and regulate the internet. So to go, th nothing's changed since then, so to then write language, which is really in this instance writing law because no law has been written. You know, I always say about unilateral activist judges, if you want to run, write laws, take off the robes and run for Congress. If Jenikowski wants to write law, run for Congress from wherever he's from. You know, from the, the, the congressman from Harvard, or Bar, or whatever. Uh, he can't write law himself from, from his chair at the FCC and, and create the authority to do this. He, you know, because if we allow him to do this, next week he can come out and say, I'm going to regulate all the pizza joints in America. I'm going to tell them how much cheese they can put on their pizzas, how many tables they can have, because he has just as much authority to do that as he does to regulate the internet. Let's, let's set up a regulatory structure in the Congress that says, okay, we will react appropriately and harshly if and when net neutral, real net neutrality violations occur. And there will be a procedure in place to examine them and determine that they are in fact legitimate net neutrality violations. And then when they are and they're determined to be, then and only then will we say, okay, a net neutrality penalty will be in place. But to impo impose net neutrality on the entire World Wide Web in advance of any violation is an incredible impediment to investment.